from a thunderstorm last night caused two separate air traffic control ground stops, which led to a series of flight cancellations and delays. So new at six, WBTV's Claire Kopsky has been digging deeper into concerns about transportation options for passengers when massive delays and cancellations happen. Jamie. She is live at Charlotte Douglas in West Charlotte. Claire, what have you learned today? After hours of delays in the sky and on the tarmac, all passengers want to do when they get on the ground is get home to their bed or to their hotel. But as passengers tell us that they understand weather delays, it's just not the other delays. And late last night, this curb was full of people waiting for shuttles and for rideshare options that some of which never showed up. We have been at the airport for almost 24 hours now. 24 hours of a bit of a nightmare. She needs to take this medicine regularly. If she doesn't, she misses a dose, um, this, it can be life threatening. So we never thought we would be separated from our luggage for that long. A missing suitcase that took off on a flight they didn't have a seat for. I just didn't want to come back here today. Allison Lolly and countless other passengers did because their bags didn't make it after hours of delays on the tarmac following severe weather. Yeah, but they were like, yeah, your bag was in Charlotte yesterday. So I was like, okay, so you, you unloaded it, looked at the bag tag that said Charlotte and sent it off to Raleigh. Raleigh was never on her itinerary. A day later, the airline says it's on her to track it down. Former passenger. We'll probably fly American again because we live in Charlotte. If hours of delays and lost luggage weren't enough, some passengers waited 45 minutes last night, more than four times the average wait time for some airport shuttles to take them to their cars. A Charlotte Douglas spokesperson told WBTV they had enough buses on each route to cover the expected forecasted passenger traffic. They cited heavy traffic on the airport roadway as to why the wait times were so long. They also said when there are are delayed flights, the drivers on route are asked to stay and continue working until all delayed passengers are transported or the driver has met the dot safe driving standards. Passengers also complained that they couldn't get an Uber or a Lyft driver to connect with them on the app. Now, when we talked to Uber, a representative told us on the phone today that when they look back at their records from last night, it was business as usual at the airport and that their time between 10 and 1 is one of their slower times at the airport. They said that their peak number of drivers come during what they consider peak hours at Charlotte Douglas. Now, since so many people's flights were delayed, what's typically the peak time on a Sunday night was much later than expected, causing many of the services that passengers are accustomed to seeing to not be available last night. For now, we're live in Charlotte. I'm Claire Kopsky, WBTV News on your side. One thing.